If you guys are trying to upgrade your factory HID bulbs in your vehicle, this video is for you. We are going to test a couple different options to figure out which one's best. Some are so expensive. Some of them are not bright at all or not brighter than your original lights. Some of them are just complete garbage and they're lying to you. So in this video, we're gonna test out a few LED options and some aftermarket HID options to find what's truly best. Specifically, we're gonna discuss the D3S bulbs. So if your vehicle uses a D3S bulb, this video is for you. The LED options that we're going to try are ones from Cafapor or Cafapar, Super E, and Last Fit. For HID, we're gonna try out some aftermarket bulbs, the Morimoto XB bulbs, the Osram Cool Blue Intense, the Osram Nightbreaker Laser, the Philips White Vision, and the Philips Extreme Vision. Now there's a variety of reasons why you would upgrade your D3S bulbs from the factory. HID generally gets less bright over time, so maybe your lights are just super dim now and you want something a little bit brighter. Maybe your bulb is just completely burnt out from the factory and instead of replacing that factory bulb, you wanted something that's better. Whatever the reason, I hope this video helps you guys. The first thing I like to discuss is price. Ultimately, we make our decisions based off of price and brightness, so let's first start there. The Kaffa Par light came in at around $59. The Super E light came in at around the same, around $60. The last fit bulb that was designed to be plug and play, which isn't actually plug and play, is $130. The HID is substantially more expensive. The Morimoto XB HID lights only come in at $90 a pair, so those are pretty reasonably priced, but the Osram Blue Intense is around $175. The Osram Nightbreaker Laser comes in at around $200. The Philips White Vision came in at around $198, and the Philips Extreme Vision came in at $198 as well. So right off the bat, if you're looking to spend a little bit of extra money, you can go with an aftermarket HID. But is it brighter than the LEDs? Like I said before, the technology is progressing with LED bulbs. So I always like to make these videos to try to figure out if LED has caught up to HID. Previously in the past, HID has been brighter. So what I'm gonna do to compare the brightness of the LEDs and the aftermarket HIDs is I'm going to put this in a Mustang headlight that utilizes the original HID D3S bulb. This light output that you're going to see is gonna be very similar to that if you had a Durango or something else that uses the D3S bulbs. We're gonna back that vehicle up about 20 feet from the wall. We are then gonna use a digital lux meter. This measures the actual brightness, the usable brightness at a certain point on the wall. We're then gonna take our findings and compare them to one another. I believe it's actually an Osram bulb from the factory. That will be our benchmark. If we can find any numbers above the original numbers that we record as our benchmark, it might be a good option as long as it's not so expensive. So let's get down to the fun part and that is how bright are these truly? We are going to put these in a Mustang headlight. They utilize the original D3S HID bulb and we're gonna back it up about 20 feet from the wall and we're going to turn it on. We're gonna use the original HID light and measure the lux with a digital lux meter. A lux meter measures the actual usable brightness at a certain point. It's just a really easy way for us to compare one headlight to another. And then we're gonna put each one of these individually in this vehicle to see if they are better or worse. Don't pay too much attention to the lux number. Pay attention to the percent change because if I was three inches closer to the wall or the ambient light was different, the lux number will substantially change. So this is probably what your HID bulb looks like from the factory. It's got a warmer color, it's not as blue as some of the lights that you're going to see. The cool part about upgrading HID bulbs is oftentimes you can find a different Kelvin rating, which then is a different color. We'll get to that a little bit more later. We do also go in depth in other videos about Kelvin ratings and the color and how that affects the brightness of these bulbs. In our test, we measured 680 maximum lux. Like I said, this is the benchmark. We're now going to install an LED bulb first because I'm most curious to see if these LED bulbs can even perform in this projector housing. So the first one we're installing is an LED bulb from Cafapar, or however you pronounce it. A lot of these names are just thrown onto a box. So it is what it is. If I'm butchering that name, don't hate me. The color temperature that you see is a much more cool blue color. This is a 6500K color. 
Right off the bat, this beam pattern actually does look pretty good. I don't see very substantial hot spots, so I don't think it's gonna be that much brighter, but the width is there, the color is there, and I don't see the light scattered all over. So I guess this answer to the question, is it possible to put an LED plug and play bulb in place of this? As long as you get the D3S LED plug and play bulb, sure, it can. But is it worth it? Would you rather spend $59 on this or more money on something that could possibly be brighter? We measured 710 maximum lux, so about the same rating as your stock bulbs. They come in at around 4% brighter. We then swap these out for these Super Re LED bulbs and they look like this. Even a little bit more blue from the factory. The color temperature of these are 6500K as well. And after using our digital lux meter at the brightest point, we measured 700 maximum lux. So these were around 3% brighter than stock. So a very comparable upgrade if you want something that's blue and maybe a little bit cheap, sure, this might be for you. But I like brighter that put that light down the road exactly where you need it. And I like added width if at all possible. So let's move on to some HID bulbs. The Morimoto D-Series bulbs, these are the cheapest HID bulb that we have on this table today. These are the least expensive bulbs I'm going to show you in the HID lineup. We measured on Lobi 1,150 lux. That is 69% brighter than your original HID lights. These Morimoto bulbs are a 6,000K color, available in a bunch of other colors, but this is what the 6,000K color looks like. Oftentimes that 6,000K color is the brightest. It's got that beautiful bright white color. It's a little more cool, much more cool than your original lights, but the width is there. And as you can see with these HID bulbs and these projector housings, they do provide you that cutoff line. You'll see two little cutoff lines in the center of that beam pattern. Those are so you can raise your lights up high enough, but not blind those oncoming drivers as you're driving down the road. 69% more brightness on low beam for only 90 bucks is a steal of a deal. But let's try something else. Let's try the Osram Blue Intense on low beam. The Blue Intense bulbs are generally very intense. And as you can see here, that is without a doubt true. We measured 1,440 maximum lux. So these were 111% brighter than your original HID bulbs. Mind you guys, these HID bulbs that we are comparing, that benchmark, those are actually brand new bulbs we put into this vehicle. So if you're driving around your vehicle with seven year old HID bulbs, they are way less bright than what you're going to see here. Cause like I said, they lose brightness as time goes on. What's funny about the cool blue HIDs is that they're not actually that cool blue. The Morimoto ones were much more cool blue than these. These have a much more warm light. They do call these 6200K, but all manufacturers call their Kelvin ratings a little bit different. The Osram Nightbreaker laser looks like this. This is actually the 4200K color temp, so it's a much more warm color. We measured 1,590 maximum lux, and that came out to 134% brighter than stock. I'm just gonna spoil the surprise. This is the brightest HID D3S replacement bulb that we have out of this entire lineup. Now I'm gonna install a few bulbs from Philips. This first one is the Philips White Vision. It looks like this, and in my opinion, this is a beautiful color. The beam pattern is exactly like you want it. And in our testing, we measure 116% brighter than your original lights. This is definitely a good idea to install on your vehicle. This one is also a Philips bulb called the Philips Extreme Vision. I measured this one to read 91% brighter than your original lights at 1300 lux. Now that is an improvement still worth it. If you like the price point of this one over the other one, this isn't a bad option as well. Let's power through high beam really quick. This is what your stock D3S high beams look like and we measured 950 lux. 950 maximum lux is going to be our benchmark. The Cavapar high beam comes in at 720 lux, which was 24% less bright than your original bulbs. That is no good. Do not buy something like this. The Super Re on high beam comes in at 750 maximum lux, so better, but still 21% less bright than your original HID bulbs. You might as well just go to the hardware store, and replace that bulb with the bulb you had in it originally. The Morimoto D-Series on high beam looks like this. 
this was an improvement at 1,170 maximum lux. So that was 23% brighter, opposed to those 20 something percent less bright LED bulbs. So again, even though this is still the cheapest version, it's much brighter than those original bulbs. This is what the Osram Cool Blue Intense looks like. We measured it to be 58% brighter than stock. This is a good beam pattern. This is everything you would want in an upgraded bulb. This is what the Osram Nightbreaker Laser looks like. And we measured 1,690 maximum lux, which is 78% brighter than stock. This is the brightest that we have found on high beam to replace your original HID D3S bulb. Now for those Philips bulbs, the white vision, we measured 1,460 maximum lux. That's 54% brighter than stock. That is insane. This one is also a Philips bulb called the Philips Extreme Vision. Here's what it looks like on high beam. We measured 39% brighter than stock. So after that, it's pretty conclusive. If you're going to upgrade your original HID D3S bulb in your vehicle, just replace it with another HID bulb. If you wanna go aftermarket bulbs, they are oftentimes better and you don't need to buy that ballast because again, that ballast is already attached to your headlight, so these bulbs are plug and play. Unplug your original bulb, take this aftermarket HID bulb, plug it in, put it into the housing, and you're good to go. Can you put in an aftermarket LED bulb in this projector housing? Well, I guess, yes you can. However, you're spending more money for what is essentially the same amount of brightness. So if all you wanted was that bright white color, sure, why not? However, we generally like to do something that's going to keep you safer. It's going to increase your nighttime driving experience. And so that's why we recommend getting something that is an HID replacement that's actually brighter. The LED bulbs in my eyes have just not progressed enough. I have yet to find an LED bulb that is bright enough to be a substantial upgrade or even a worthwhile upgrade for that. Now, if you're confused about the Kelvin colors, it's not that difficult. Essentially, the lower the number, the warmer the light's gonna be. The higher the number, the more cool blue it's going to be. We do have another video on that to tell you guys and show you which one is the best ones to pick. These are about the brightest Kelvin colors that you could choose when it comes to these HID aftermarket bulbs. So that's why we did it in this shootout. If you want to see other videos like this and figure out which bulbs are right for your vehicle, go to headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make and model, and we'll show you guys everything there.